Hello everyone. Uh, right, I've been making some tea dyed papers and uh, I've got 20 left over. A4 size folded in half. If anyone would like those, uh, just pop your name in the comments. If there's more than one, uh, I'll do a draw. Um, I might have some more, so just a thought if anybody wants some tea dyed paper. I love making it. And while I'm showing you that, I thought I'd show you this uh, nipping press that I got my husband to make. Um, I was going through YouTube one day and uh, I got onto a channel called Das, D-A-S, Bookbinding. And uh, the guy is from Australia and he showed a tutorial on how to make this small nipping press. Um, ideal for those who haven't got a book press like me. And it's a brilliant tutorial. I haven't got the link, but it, um, the video was put up in uh, September, 17th September last year, 2021. And um, let me just show you how it works. Uh, for those of you who've got husbands who do woodworking or in actual fact, if you do some yourself, it's pretty straightforward to make. All you need, if you can see here, is an F clamp. And that's an F clamp. And it's a screwing action. It just goes up and down. And it's screwed into this wooden piece of MDF I've used for this. Um, if you check out his, it's a brilliant tutorial, ever so easy to follow. If you check his uh, channel out, he's put um, wood, uh, rubber door stops on his. And I think he's used a 37mm high one. I couldn't get any 37mm in this country. He's in Australia, as I say. Um, so I bought four of these feet instead. I think the clamp was around eight ninety I've seen them on eBay, but you get them from any hardware shop, an F clamp. So you need four feet. And they've got to be a, about a 37mm height, because you, you don't want to... You don't want to, um, it's got to be longer than this. If they're too short, well, you'd be resting on this section and you don't want that. So four feet. Uh, the MDF piece that uh, I used was 15 by 12. You make it any size that you want. That's just convenient for me as to where it's positioned and uh, it's so useful. So turn the screw to the left and it's on a, rip, a ratchet system as it goes up. Put the items down that you want to press. And I took a piece of um, 12 by 8.5 inch MDF, one mil thick. And then you just screw it tightly. And that's your press. And it really does a, a great job of pressing papers. Um, it doesn't take long. It would be ideal if you um, also press flowers. I haven't done any flower pressing. Um, that's something I've just not got round to doing. Um, I know a lot of us use a piece of wooden pile books on top but this is always set up and it's easy to use and um, I just thought I'd mention that in case anybody wanted to make one. Um, while I'm here well, I just thought if you couldn't get the, the legs you could glue a couple of 
uh, reels together with my four feet that way. You've probably got your own ideas about feet. I haven't given it much thought, but you could do that, couldn't you? Right. So that's a little nipping press. The tea dye papers and while I'm here I thought I'll mention uh, I entered Claire Cartwright's challenge recently it was an ATC challenge and she sent me uh, a little ATC back hand stitch with love a little sewing machine and lovely papers at the back so sweet of her and that came in the past the other day so thank you for that Claire it was a pleasure to enter your challenge I think that's all I've got for you today ladies yep so I'll be back again tomorrow bye for now bye